Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be way different because we are going to be completely redoing my beauty room. This whole system behind me is something new, different, and we're going to do like a time lapse of us completely like taking the room apart and then building this and putting it back together. So it's going to be a really cool video. The system actually behind me is called the pack system from Ikea. Um, Manny MUA, he has this and when I saw it in his home, I was literally like, go! So full creds to him that this was his purchase and his idea and I totally was like, girl, let me let me get that, but I'm, I'm a credit you. I wasn't the first one. I'm sure neither of us were the first one with this, but I will say, I think Chris, Kristen Leanne has this as well. Um, so yeah, both of them have this. I'm inspired by them. I think they're amazing. So that's what's happening today. The reason I wanted to redo my beauty room and I had been wanting to redo it for a while is because obviously the amount of makeup I have. I love the Alex Nine Doors and they served me well for like six years, but I'm changing it up because I need my makeup more spread out so I can see everything that I have so I'm not using the same products every single day and I can be a little bit more organized and this is so beautiful. Ah. By the way, the time lapse is gonna be very sped up because it took us four days to change out this room. Four days. You know that moment when you just know you bit off way more than you can chew? That was my moment all weekend long. I was like, wait, why am I redoing my beauty room again? Because I think it's great the way it was. <laughs> also in this video, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for you guys. I cleaned out so much untouched, unused makeup and I don't want it to expire or go bad. So I'm just going to give it to you guys. I'm going to pick seven winners and send them a box full of makeup um, from my PR and my beauty room and stuff that I'm never going to touch or use. So all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel and leave one comment down below and that's it. And you're entered. Just subscribe and leave a comment down below and I'll pick seven of you and I'll list the winners in the description box with the end date and all that information down below. Okay, girl. I hope you are excited to win something. Oh. Anyways, um, yeah, so um, I love you guys. Please subscribe before you leave. We're going to skip this subscribe song today. I know. I'm sorry. This video is going to be long and I'm sorry we're skipping it. But let's jump right into the video. This is the room four. This desk back here is obviously the background to my videos. I have my backlight. This big thing right here is what holds my backdrops. All this disaster is going bye-bye. Um, and then all this makeup is getting moved, this desk and everything. I don't know if we'll take it out right this second. We probably will. This is like pretty much the room. I'm trying to show you the best that I can from a corner perspective before it all gets changed out. This is giveaway stuff, PR, <laughs> clothing haul stuff. Oh my goodness, okay, so I'm gonna get started.
the makeup. Literally all of my makeup is in one spot. This is where all my makeup is placed. It looks about a thousand times better in my opinion. It's all put together and it makes for a really nice backdrop for my videos. Also, I have these planters on the side that are from Z Gallery as well as the silver stools on them and there's two of those. So here's one on this side as well that matches and there's so many drawers as well as some shelf space for decor. We will be going over all these drawers in just a second. Really quick, I just wanted to show you guys that I still have my vanity from Impressions Vanity and a couple cute things. This is like a little get ready area if I wanted to get ready quick. And I have a little lipstick tower over here that has my collaboration with MAC in it. Also, I really love this vanity. It's super nice. So I definitely didn't want to get rid of this. And if you're wondering what's in here, it's my makeup bags and my wigs and my extra makeup brushes and just overflow of random items that are not makeup. So there's no makeup in these. So I guess I will show you what's inside. Here is my desk that I film on. I normally have a reflector on the desk that shines light up. I took that down for the sake of this video, but I just have my makeup brushes and I have my lip liners, setting sprays, some primers, and this is one of my favorite sprays that I use all the time. I also have a mirror that you can see in my video sometimes. Here I just have some of my favorite makeup brushes and then over here I have my must have products in this drawer. This is like eye stuff, just my go-to products. I can do a video talking about in detail what's in this drawer if you guys want. So what is on these shelves is mostly just for decor. You can tell in the back that's kind of empty. I just have my pretty glosses set up and then yeah, just decor. My beauty blender's over there and I'll give you like an overview. How gorgeous. Over here I have my roses from Anastasia Beverly Hills and then I have my Patrick Ta Body Glow. All these products match so I put them over there. So this whole first row of drawers is all drugstore products. I have palettes, I have lip products, setting sprays, foundations, and all kinds of makeup in these as well. I think I have enough beauty blenders for a lifetime in this little drawer system. And then I just love how all the lip products look set up, organized really nicely. Here's all my Dior up front because they look really pretty. And then all the setting sprays I think just look so good. Down here I have all my foundations and you'll see in a second I also have my concealers in there. Over here I have all my Pat McGraths lined up. They look so pretty as well as all the Kylie's up top. And then over here I have drugstore palettes in both of these drawers. So where to get started? I think we'll start on the drugstore section and we'll move along. So first things first is the two drugstore palette drawers. So we just have an assortment of eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore, Wet n Wild, Elf, NYX, and I have Velvet 59 in here as well. Over here I have quite a large BH palette section. They do come out with a whole lot of palettes, so I just have a bunch of palettes, including collab palettes in there. And then of course Makeup Revolution has all of its own section because Makeup Revolution has a ton of palettes. And then I have a couple of J-Cats and Milani up front because they look really nice. I have all of my nude drugstore lip products in the baskets up front, which look really amazing. Ofra's not really a drugstore product, but I do keep them in here because I'm kind of out of space in my other area. And I just have all different brands. They are actually organized by brand. And then these are all the Maybelline nude lipsticks. I do love these. And then I have various brands of lipsticks. And then if you're wondering what the back row is, that's all different colors that are not nude in the back. So if I didn't want to wear a nude, I would reach back there. And then if you're wondering what this section is right here, it's actually all of my drugstore glosses. Lots of really nice ones in there. So that is my drugstore lip drawer. Now this next drawer is my drugstore face drawer. I have all of my drugstore foundations right up front all my stick foundations, and then all the liquids. Then this basket is powders, pressed powders from the drugstore specifically. These are primers from the drugstore, and then back here I have all my other primers, and right here are primers that would stand up on their own without falling over, so I just put them right there. Over here I have beauty oils from the drugstore, as well as my loose powders from the drugstore in there, and then over here are all of my setting sprays 
from the drugstore. Then I got this cute container, which I got 90% of these containers from either Impressions Vanity or from Home Goods. This one's from Home Goods. It has all my drugstore concealers and they're organized by brand. I don't know why, but I have so many highlighters from the drugstore. So this whole drawer is dedicated to drugstore highlighters. There's not even really a rhythm to this drawer. It is organized in its own chaotic form. It does look a little bit busy and crazy, but I do have all my cream products from the drugstore. These are all eyeshadow creams. I don't know why I have so many, but I just put them all together and I was like, wow, I have a lot of those. These are all single shadows from the drugstore all the way back. Those are some eye primers. Here is some brow products from the drugstore, mascara, and some eyeliners. With these big drawers, you're gonna see me start from the bottom up. So my bottom drawer down here is all of my bronzers. And I put my bronzer and contour palettes back there. I put my body bronzers over here, some body oils. Then over here is just this acrylic tray. I believe this is from Impressions Vanity and it just has various bronzers in it. And over here I have a basket of the new Huda Beauty contours. These are my Marc Jacobs, Tom Ford, and Chanel more higher end bronzers. And then these are all MAC special edition bronzers. Over here I just have random brands, but they are put together by brands. We have Dior, Hourglass, by Terry. I have my big hula, which is pretty exciting. I use that a lot. Some of the Estee Lauder heat waves. I just have all kinds of bronzers in here. My MAC Blunt. And then over here we have color correction and contour sticks. Next up, this is my highlighter drawer. And to be honest, this is probably my most packed out full drawer, not to be surprised. Back here in the corner, this um, container's from Impressions as well as all of these. And they have like little slits to organize your makeup. They're amazing. I do have a discount code with them. It's Laura Lee if you guys wanna get some containers or a vanity. So I have my liquid highlights, my spray highlights and glitters. These are my MAC highlights, Bobbi Brown, Hourglass right here. And then over here, I do have them organized by brand, which you can obviously tell I have Fenty, Becca, Estee Lauder. Um, all of these are Anastasia Ciate, and this is a little overflow Fenty. Then back here, I just have some randomness, some randomness going on. All my other bronzers, um, this is Manny's brand, Lunar Beauty. I have my Bobbi Browns back there. Some Makeup Forever gel highlighters here. It's an Armani one. And then over here, I have all of my Stila highlights, Elsie Smashbox, um, some loose highlighters. So all this is loose highlighters. I have Artist Couture Kylie, and of course my own brand. These are all my Ofra highlighters, and then this is an Ofra highlighter palette. So this drawer is just like one of my favorites for sure. This is actually my blush drawer, all blushes. You can tell I have blush palettes over here, MAC blushes, random singles over here, and then these are more singles, but I had multiple of them, so I put them together by brand. And then these are my Luxe ones, YSL La Prairie Sicily. That's actually a MAC limited edition. This is one of my favorites, the Jouer blush palette. She is so pretty. I have some Morphe blush palettes over here. Tarte, these are Kevin Aquan, all my MAC. Um, and here's a few more MAC products. These are all my Marc Jacobs back here. My favorite thing is everything's so much more spread out instead of packed on top of each other. So I feel like I can find way more stuff. We're officially getting into eyeshadow palettes, which is pretty exciting. I have all my Morphe palettes. A lot of these are my old school ones that I still love. I won't be getting rid of. And then I have their newer palettes right here as well as the Jaclyn collab. And then I went ahead and put my Makeup Geek, Makeup Forever palettes that started with the M. My MAC palettes that I made a long time ago in this drawer. It is so fun and colorful, and that's the reason I put these palettes in here. I was like, oh my god, I love them all together. So here we have all the Too Faced palettes. All these are Too Faced. And then over here we have a Tarte section, if you can tell. We have a Smashbox section, and then back here is all my Z palettes that I've made with different eyeshadows from different brands. And then I have Violet Boss in here. If you guys haven't seen this box of crayons palette. Ooh! I also did a video on this Burn Book palette a long time ago, which I do like. So that is this eyeshadow palette drawer. I just love it so much. I love the colorful colors. It's really cool. My next drawer, as you can see, I have my nudie patootie, my pride and joy up front. So in this drawer, I have all this whole section right here is Kylie. That's LA Girl. 
That's Lime Crime ColourPop with Brit. This actually needs to be in my ColourPop drawer, you guys will see. These are all on Essential Beverly Hills, Lawless, La Rock. Um, and then these are my single shadows from my own brand. I have Lunar Beauty and then my own brand. I have three sleigh bells, I don't know why in here, but here's my own brand. And then that is this drawer. It's also really beautiful with all the palettes. My next drawer is a really fun drawer as well. It is eyeshadow, still going. We're still going with eyeshadows. But here we have all the Urban Decay Nakeds, Naked Heat, Naked Cherry. Um, and then I have just some different Urban Decay collection pieces in here, YSL, Visart. And then these are all my single shadows. So I have loose pigments back here. I have All Makeup Forever, some more MAC, Smashbox, Stila, more MAC, and Pat McGrath over here. In the basket over here, I have NARS and Marc Jacobs. And then all these are MAC single shadows. So I kind of made a mistake when organizing these. I was like, okay, two, three drawers for palettes will be plenty. We'll do highlighters and contours. And then I was like, oh my God, we still have eyeshadow palettes. So I had done the highlighter palette drawer first and I had an overflow eyeshadow palette. So it's like eyeshadow, highlighter, eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eyeshadow. So I need to flip these two drawers. Let's go ahead and talk about the highlighter palettes. Over here, I have all my cheek and highlighter and bronzer palettes from Benefit. And then yeah, basically there's a lot of these are just really pretty contour highlight palettes. A lot of these have contour and highlights so they could have went in the bronzer or the highlight drawer. I ended up putting them in this drawer because there's more space in here. Up front we have Lime Crime MAC, Bobbi Brown, Tarte, Dior. We have my Anastasia ones. We have a Violet Boss, Lunar Beauty. We have all the Huda palettes here. I'm obsessed with this El Maquillage High Standards palette. The last shade's kind of highlighty, but the other ones are bronzers, and I use this palette a lot. It's really nice from El Maquillage. And our last eyeshadow drawer, all these are Pat McGrath. All these are Pat McGrath. This is Hip Dot. And then I have all my Huda palettes right here. Natasha Denona, Jouer's in here. And then I had some bigger palettes. This one's really pretty from El Maquillage as well. I have some Marc Jacob palettes, and then in here, this basket, I have small NARS palettes. And now we are on to the third row drawers, and we're gonna start not at the bottom drawer, because that is just full of products I wanna film videos with, so it's just chaos of new products. But the first organized drawer is my last drawer. Oh my God, my obsession. This is actually a palette where you can put your lashes to reuse them. So all these are used lashes organized in there. Then I have my most used lashes, which would be my Morphe's. And then of course the Lily lashes, Batty B lashes right here, Holly Boone's brand. And then I just have an assortment of uh, different lashes. So this is my lash drawer. And then I just keep this little book setting right back there normally. If anybody is a fan of ColourPop like I am, this is probably gonna be your favorite drawer. This is all ColourPop, so I have all the lip products right here. Lipsticks, lip liners, lip glosses, and liquid lipsticks, satin lips all organized. These are my highlighters from the Villain Collection, really pretty. And then I have my loose highlighters from ColourPop here, here, and here. The pigments, the liners. I have one brow pencil from ColourPop, so I was like, okay, I'll just put it right there. But anyways, these are eyeshadow palettes. And if you're wondering why this is Laura Los Angeles palettes, cause it's got all my single shadows from ColourPop in it. Cause I love these magnetic palettes for my own brand guys, they're 12 bucks. And all these are like, just yeah, all eyeshadow right here. And then I have these little containers right here filled with the Super Shock shadows. So basically I have a ColourPop store in my home. It's for my skincare lovers out there. Um, this drawer is all skincare and primers. So here I have my facial primers and here I have my facial primers. So I have them kind of up front where I can grab them while I do my makeup. These primers who are like putties are in jars that so they need it to go over here where they can stand up on their own as well as this Bobbi Brown, it's a primer. And then these are all my facial primers but they're in glass jars and I don't want them laying down on their belly leaking. So I made sure that they stand up and they do stand up really well in the drawers. I have my eye products, lip products, facial serums, sunscreens, 
thick moisturizers and then right here is all of like my facial oils and yeah that is my skincare slash primer drawer i really love this drawer i think it looks so pretty okay this next drawer is all foundation which what's not to love there i do have them organized by brand so if you can see all hourglass fenty dior some it's like tom ford la perry el maquillage um, Jouer. So here I just have these really organized by brand. Some of my most used ones I have here, which is the Fenty, Huda, Jouer, Kim K, Born This Way, and Tarte. Like I really reach for these. And then these are basically ones that I still reach for pretty darn often. And then these are ones that I don't grab for as much, but I hope to in the future. And I still love these so much. Um, over here are my stick foundations. And then back here are just, there's simply foundations that are in tubes that will fall over. So I have them laying down. Foundation drawer, gotta love it. All the setting sprays up front in this drawer. Can you tell me why setting spray packaging is so beautiful? So basically this is my set it and forget it drawer. That is my mantra. <laughs> They're really well organized. All my Morphe prep and set. This is one that I use so often that it's on my desk. Um, and then I have some just various brands over here of setting sprays that I do like. So then you're, if you're wondering what's going on in the back, we had a party back here. Just kidding. It's not a party. It's just powder. Set it, get it, setting sprays and setting powders. Then over here I have just bulk of setting powders that is pressed, not loose. This will not fit in the ColourPop drawer, so it got mooned over here. Yeah, so here are my powders as well as my setting sprays. Select lip products. This is probably gonna be your favorite part of the video. Here up front I have all my Dior, and the crazy thing is the Dior goes way back here. This is Fenty, more Christian Dior. And then over here I have all Marc Jacobs. These are the Wu-Tang Milk Makeup, Milk Makeup. All this is Kim K, Tatcha, Kim K. And then all of these that you see, these are all Giorgio Armani. Then I have all the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks, all the Tarte liquid lipsticks. Jouer has her own section. I've always loved the Jouer liquid lipsticks. So that is our Christian Dior drawer. The next drawer is where I keep my YSL lippies. So all of these are YSL. And obviously I have my Smashbox lipsticks in here. And then over here is all of my MAC lip glosses. Back here is more YSL. I do have one. Ugh, I have this one from New York. It has my name on it. This one's really special to me. These are all my regular MAC lipsticks. Back here I have limited edition glosses. Stila has her own section and Smashbox are together, so. And if you can tell, all these are YSL. And then these are more of the liquid lipsticks from YSL. These are really amazing right here in the black tubes. So that is this drawer. This drawer has a lot going on, guys. And see a Tarte, Christian, Dior, Dosa Colors, YSL, and then some Too Faced right here. But these are all of my Balm On L'Oreal. This was like a limited edition moment. And then back here, I have just overflow of the liquid lips. If you're wondering what this is, this is a really cool little lipstick from Hourglass and you re refill the container with these bullets of different shades. And then all of this is Huda Beauty's lip products. I put all the nudes, of course, together because that's my most worn. And this little clear three-part tray right here is all Marc Jacobs. So we have the glosses and the stains and the liquid lipstick. Here is the last system of the drawer. So we'll start at the bottom. Second from the bottom drawer is all eyeliners <laughs> and lip liners. <laughs> so over here we have colorful liquid liners and gel pots. These are neutral browns and nude. I have a lot of neutral pencil liners. And then obviously these are my colorful pencil liners. Back here are my lip liners runneth over. I have purples and pinks. I have reds and I have mauve colors here. And then here I just have like all dark brown. So these are lip liners and eyeliners. The next drawer is still the eyes. So back here, this is all eye pencils to color on your eyes. I have Jouer La Mercier back here. This is all eye primers. So back here, I just have like things to carve out to do a cut crease and then like paint pots and different eye primers in here. Over here, I have all brow products. So these are brow gels and brow tints, brow pencils, brow powders. This is more of like a brow tint. This is a brow powder and that is this drawer. Next, next one. Okay, here's an overview of our next drawer. 
We have mascara, mascara, mascara. They are organized by brand. I think if you're wondering what's going on over here, we have liquid black liner, pencil black liner. And then I just have a bunch of these little cream pots from Makeup Forever, which I like to use when I do things artsy, especially during Halloween. Okay, this next drawer is so much fun to me. I'm obsessed with this drawer. And I love how it's all spread out. So what's actually all this is, is liquid eyeshadow and cream eyeshadow and glitter. So if I want to do something fun or funky, girl, I just come over here. You guys know about the Stila, the really pretty liquid shadows. And then these are all MAC paint pots on Sasha Beverly Hills. If you're wondering back here, this is glitter and glitter glues, glitter liners, body glitters right here. I'm obsessed and it inspires me. Here is lip product flow over, flow over, overflow. <laughs> These two are Lancome. And then over here I have Bobbi Brown and I love by beauty. I have Lunar and Larley Los Angeles and Lime Crime in there. Looks so good. Okay guys, last but not least, this is a Kylie Jenner parade. So her actual lipsticks are in here and then I have these with the matte liquid lipsticks and the velvet lipsticks. And then I have all of my Morphe. I have some Fenty over here, Bare Minerals, and then I have some various brands over there. And then over here, if you're wondering what this is, this is all Kylie glosses in this last section right here. Here is one more overview of this system. It is really amazing. I recommend it. You can build it yourself at Ikea. It's called the Pack System. I just, I'm so excited to have it, guys. One more overview of this little extra system over here, which these are called the IKEA five drawer systems. And then I'll link this vanity down below as well as all the acrylic trays from Impressions. I wanted to show you guys what's on this wall. It's like a memorabilia wall. <laughs> I have just drawings of me from my subscribers. Some of my first launches with my brand, Mariah Carey wrote me a note. And this is where we raised money for St. Jude. On this wall, my YouTube plaques. I have my millions plaque. And then for my vlog channel, this is the newer 100,000 plaque. And then I got this so long ago. So this is the before and after the room. This is the after that you're seeing right here. I think the room looks so much well put together and I can see everything better. I love it so much. It was so cluttered before, as you can see, and just a big mess. I'm really happy with the outcome and I really appreciate you guys watching. If you made it all the way to the end of the video, my goodness, you need a nap, honey, because this was a long video. Thank you for watching. Be sure and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.